Five is staying on top of a story we've been following for months. Days after the city's Hotel for the Homeless program ended, Kansas City is not letting camps go back up in high traffic areas of the city. We're glad you could join us for KCTV 5 News at 10. Tonight, I'm Greg Payne. This weekend, a tent encampment popped back up near Westport Road and Southwest Boulevard, the same area that became known as Camp 6 earlier this year. But today, those people were told they had to go. KCTV 5's Leslie Aguilar explains why the city moved those people and where they went. Right now there are signs posted around this green space in Westport saying property of KCMO no trespassing. The city says they offered the folks who were sleeping out here city services and then asked them to move to a different location. Those people feel like the city doesn't want to help them. The group of people camping in the middle of Westport traffic call themselves Camp 6. After months of living in tents and protesting for help from the city, they all got placed in hotels for 90 days. That temporary solution to their homelessness ended last week. We figured, you know, get there, we all got to get somewhere in life. As soon as we all get to the hotels, they only help certain people. The people they didn't help. People like Ashley Handy say the city only gave a Band-Aid solution. Everybody should have shelter, food, clothing, all this. They're like, what is going on with this world? They were shocked to wake up to city crews cleaning their Westport camp Sunday morning. I don't know what is going on. They're not trying to help people. and It is kind of getting old. You know, you got some officers, officers, officers are mad. Like one officer was like, I'm mad. I don't want to do this. I don't want to have to make y'all move all the time. He's like my job. City Public Works Director Michael Shaw says the encampment was a safety concern and violated city ordinances. We're asking folks to voluntarily move out of the right of way because it's dangerous to be out here. There's a lot of tra traffic accidents in this area. Now the group is staying in Pin Valley Park. I'm tired of being homeless. I don't want to be houseless no more. I've said it for the last six months. I'm tired of it. Monique Sneed says she has three part time jobs that she uses free KC Transit to get to. She uses Hope Faith to shower and get clean clothes. One of my jobs requires me to be there before before Hope and Faith is open. So I would have to like literally legitimately get up, go to like a quick trip or something. I don't know how to explain it um, and like wash up, try not to get too dirty. She says despite all her effort, she can't afford a place of her own. The cost of living, the expense of living is really expensive. Sneed hasn't found a program that's willing to help her long term beyond finding a meal or a shower. She hopes the city doesn't give up on her and the rest of her friends on the street. We reached out to the mayor's office about the cleanup effort here and were sent a press release in return that explains which city ordinances that camp was violating. We'll post that statement on KCTV5.com. We also know the city is still working on a tiny home village for the homeless. The ordinance for that is still going through the city. It'll be discussed at a committee hearing this week. Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.